Welcome back to my channel for a new video and today I have my spring capsule wardrobe to share with you. So if you're new watching this video today then my name is Katie and I love to focus on capsule wardrobe style content sharing with you how you can get the most out of your wardrobe. For me my style is very classic, very minimal, I am such an outfit repeater too. That's why I love having a capsule wardrobe because you can build so many different outfits fits in so many different ways a lot of the pieces as well will last you all year round especially in the UK so yeah do make sure you subscribe if you do like that kind of content so as you can see I have a rail full of great staple pieces to share today so if you do find this helpful then please don't forget to like it and also feel free to leave me a comment as well so yeah let's get into the video so I'm going to start with the wardrobe basics. So in every one of these videos that I film, I always bang on about how it's so important to invest in good quality basics, whether that's your t-shirts, your vests, your long sleeves, your thermals for the winter. These are the pieces which are the base of your outfit. So you'll use these all the time. So I think it's really great to make sure you spend that bit more money and invest in these pieces. So the ones I have to share with you today are all of my classics. And if you're an OG, you would have seen these multiple times before. So first I'm gonna start off with a classic white t-shirt. This one is from Arquette. I always bang on about their t-shirts, really good quality. I wear mine in a size small. Because I wear my white ones so much, I also bought the black version too, which is the heavyweight. I think my white one is slightly more, this one now I think is around three years old, but compared to my black one, I think they've slightly changed the fit of it so it's a little bit more relaxed so I do find my small one is a bit more snug but this has been washed zillions of times I may have just shrunk it a little bit but I got it in the black too very true to size and what I love about these heavyweight white t-shirts is that they're slightly thicker so when you do wear it underneath like blazers or on its own because it's thicker it doesn't sort of like cling to your bra area so you don't get any lines or anything it just looks really smooth and really premium and I I think a really good high quality t-shirt really does elevate your outfit. Then another t-shirt which I style a lot in the springtime is this one. So this striped tee is from Cars. I wear it in a size small. I really love styling this in the spring summer, especially like with white trousers, underneath them jackets, blazers, lightweight wool coats. I just think a striped t-shirt is a really nice alternative to styling my striped jumper all the time, which you'll see in a bit. I also like to style this underneath my bomber jackets and whatnot. And I think you can't go wrong with a good striped t-shirt shirt. Then another piece which I wear a lot in the spring summer is a classic white vest top. So this is a racer vest just from Another Stories. I wear this a lot underneath my cardigans, especially in the spring season, because sometimes I wear a t-shirt underneath my cardigans, but find that because the t-shirt isn't like slim fitting, it sort of like moves around. I also like my cardigan to sit really smooth on the base layer. And what I like about wearing a little vest underneath is that when you wear a style of cardigan, which is a bit more slouchy, a bit more oversized, you can sort of like show the detail of the vest and style the cardigan off the shoulders, which is a really nice little styling detail. Then next we have shirts. So these are definitely my most worn shirts in the spring season. The first one is this striped blue shirt. I absolutely love this one. It's from Cezanne. It was new in my wardrobe from last year. This was my upgraded version from my old Zara shirt. So what I tend to do with my classic wardrobe staples is the ones that I wear the most, I do then invest in higher quality. So my Zara shirt was around, I think it was about 14.99. Had it for about two or three years, wore it every single season. And then I decided to invest in this one from Cezanne, which the quality is absolutely unreal. And I think by just upgrading those pieces that you love and wear a lot, just shows that you know you'll wear it a lot and it'll last forever in your wardrobe. So I did actually size up in this one to a size 38. They usually bring this style back every single season. So fingers crossed I can link it for you. But of course, everything else in this video, I will link down below for you in the description box. And for any things which are sold out, I'll try and link as close alternative I can for you. And the next shirt is a classic white shirt. So this one is from Arquette. This is about two or three years old now. And I got it in a size 36, which is my usual size there. I do tend to reach for more of a linen shirt as well heading into warmer days because I find that a linen shirt just sits 
a lot more like sort of like relax underneath a blazer and whatnot i also love to sew this shirt open just as a sort of overlay when i don't want to wear a jacket it's where you can start like playing with your layers and i think a shirt is a really good piece to have in your wardrobe which you can dress up or down for me a white shirt isn't my most worn staple i feel like this is my most worn one when it comes to my shirts but as i'm going throughout this video make sure you take away the things that resonate most with you because most people might not wear a shirt that much or they might not wear a white shirt or a pair of I know, black trousers or a black skirt I feel like with these style videos it's not a sort of like list where you have to buy all of these things take out what's most relevant to you and what makes you feel comfortable to wear what makes you feel good and yeah I feel like everyone's style is personal and these style videos just sort of helps give you some advice on how to build those base layers then we have denim so I always say this in every single one of my videos is that denim is the hardest thing to nail I feel like I've been on a denim journey I've been trying lots of different fits from different brands and yeah I got rid of so many pairs of jeans that didn't fit me anymore I felt like with jeans because I'm five foot six I struggle with the length I don't want them to be too cropped on me I don't want them to be too long they're just a really, really hard thing to buy so make sure that you do whatever you want to go jean shopping not just spend a day go shopping for jeans and um, one of my favorite brands for denim at the moment is Abercrombie I do have some jeans to share with you there I feel like ordering denim online is hard unless you know your size because sometimes I've bought pairs of jeans which are the same size but in different washes and the fit has been completely different so denim is definitely a minefield so I'm going to start off with a classic colour for the spring summer which is a pair of white jeans these ones are from Arca and I got them last year after going on an absolute hunt for a good pair of white jeans these are a really nice sort of like off-white ecru shade I really don't like bright white jeans like I feel like they look really they can look really cheap so I prefer more of like an ecru shade because they sort of go better with like my white t-shirts it just sort of blends it's not that sort of like how do I describe it you know, like tipex white I just yeah I can't stand really white jeans so I always go for more of an off-white shade these are the rose crop jeans I got them in a size 27 I love that these are slightly cropped because I can wear my nice little sandals with them my Birkenstocks my ballet flats and I am actually after a new pair of white jeans in a straight longer fit so I do have like different jeans for different shoe types if that makes sense but these are my most worn ones in the spring summer time when the weather does warm up then I have these two pairs of Abercrombie jeans. So I think a really good wash for a capsule wardrobe is a medium wash because it will take you through to all seasons. I find that this sort of like dark mid blue at the moment is really great to transition with. And then a sort of more of a lighter medium blue is great to head into main spring and even the autumn. I feel like these washes are great for all year round. So both these are from Abercrombie and the first pair are these 90s relaxed jeans which have a high rise they also have a raw hem on the bottom which i really like especially styled with my ballet flats with my trainers and i wear these in a size 27 and then these style jeans are the 90s straight ultra rise jeans so i have these in the darker blue also in the gray and yeah they're just a really great fitting pair of jeans i got them in a size 27 also but what i love but other probably denim and their trousers is that they offer different height options so you can order a petite a regular or a tall and both of these i got in a size regular then i do love to style a more lighter wash jean in the spring season so these are actually new in my wardrobe i had a pair of h&m me sort of very similar wash to this actually last year which i wore lows from h&m so like a wide leg style so i wore those to death so this year i wanted to invest in the famous citizen of human Manatee jeans these are the Ayla jeans I did size down in these to a size 26 I ordered them from forward because they were a lot cheaper on there but what I love about this jean is that they have this turn up detail so these jeans you can definitely dress up or down I really like how a light wash looks especially with more like neutral tones in the springtime like even with this grey jumper with a trench coat my Birkenstocks my trainers I really love this turn up detail and it just adds a bit of interest to your outfits 
Then we have the satin skirt. So these two are my most worn skirt. Both of these are from Naked Fashion. They're a really great length on me too. You can dress these up or down. I love to style them in the summertime, especially style like with a racer vest, with a shirt open, maybe with some sandals. You can style them with trainers, some socks. I think they're so versatile. I wear this one a lot as well for evening times with some heels, with some boots, little waistcoats. I just think I'm not really a dress girl. Girl. I'm more of like a wide leg trouser girl but when I do want to wear a skirt and I feel a little bit more like girly I tend to reach for my satin skirts and I wear both of these in a size 36. Next we have trousers so these are my most worn trousers which I style all year round. So the first pair is this black one. These are from Warehouse. They are super old now. I always try and link similar alternatives for them. They just hang really nicely, super comfortable to wear. The hem has come down so many times on these trousers. I think I've sewn them about four or five times because they're literally my favorite fitting pair of black trousers and they're super comfortable and it's just really easy just to do a little tacking stitch on the bottom and sew them up. And I wear these in a size eight. And then next I have two pairs of white trousers. So I think that white trousers are definitely my most worn trousers in my wardrobe all year round because I love the way that white looks. I just love styling it and it's just my favorite color to wear. The first pair are these silk ones. These are from Lily Silk and they're recently new in my wardrobe, but these are my white trousers, which I wear for more like dressed up cleaner outfits if that makes sense because they're sort of silk they're really flowy i love the leg on them they also have a really nice turn up detail too but these are definitely more of my dressier trousers and then for days where i want to potentially wear my trainers or my converse they do reach for these ones so these are my crate trousers from abercrombie i love how these fit these are definitely more flowier and wider on the legs they're really great for the spring or summer time and the crate material drapes really nicely and i also got them in a size 27. Then I have a beige pair of trousers. So these are a couple of years old now from H&M. I tend to reach for these quite a lot when we start to transition more. And basically when I start to get bored of my black trousers, I feel like my black trousers have been my most worn at the moment because I keep grabbing them all the time because the weather is so miserable, it's so rainy. So I am looking forward to bringing these back out again. So I love to style these like with a t-shirt underneath, with my bomber jackets, and because of the neutral tone too, they're really great for a pair of workwear trousers. I have dressed these up, I've dressed them down. Very, very versatile and they're a really nice tone of beige too. So they go with a lot of things in my wardrobe and they're great for all seasons too. Now on to some long sleeve tops. So spring in the UK, isn't always springing. It's still really cold and I feel like it's been, I know last year the spring was awful. We had a whole season of light rain. I feel like we went straight from like winter, we had no spring, then summer appeared, we had no summer and then that was it, it was autumn. But the weather was awful last year. So I tend to still wear my long sleeve tops, especially during the transitional period. So the first long sleeve I'm gonna share with you is just a simple black turtleneck. I've worn this transitionally a lot in the autumn season. It's a really great winter basic as well, but I do like to style it in the spring, like with a little tweed jacket, maybe on its own with some nice trousers. And I have also been reaching for this one a lot too, which is a beautiful cream one from Lily Silk. I do still have a code for them as well, so I'll link it in the description box, but beautiful quality. This is cashmere. I just love how this looks with some white trousers just tucked in with some brown accessories. You can lay on the top of the trench coat if you wanted to, but I think these are really nice and versatile to wear to the office as well. For days when you don't want to wear a jumper to the office anymore you can sort of like throw in a little blazer a little jacket and then wear this roll neck but then if you want to take the jacket off these still look really nice on their own and really put together then i have a black long sleeve bodysuit so like i've already mentioned i am not a dressy girl so i do tend to go for like nice tops and nice trousers and i love how these bodysuits fit this one is just from amazon and it's a very very similar to the skims one exactly the same fit amazing quality i wear it in a size small i also ordered it in the brown colour but I think for the spring season where you don't want to wear like I don't know a t-shirt underneath or you just want to have something a bit more fitted that looks a bit more dressier or even style on its own too these look really nice to style with a good pair of trousers because they're super fitted very flattering and they're just so comfortable to wear too. 
Now on to my spring knitwear. So my knitwear doesn't go away in the springtime, unfortunately, because we just don't have the weather in the UK. But I do tend to reach for more light knitwear, if that makes sense. So I've been wearing this jumper quite a lot, actually. It's from Arca, it's a cashmere jumper. But it's a really beautiful, like thin, lightweight one. I just love how it looks with jeans and a trench coat. And I love styling a white t-shirt underneath. I don't know what it is about a little white t-shirt underneath a nice jumper. It just adds another bit of interest to your outfit and just instantly elevates it so this one I have been styling a lot the next one is this classic stripe one I got this last year from another stories it's a really beautiful sort of like I feel like it's more of like a sweatshirt style jumper beautiful quality I wore this loads on its own and you can also style this as well on the shoulders if you wanted to as a little styling detail and I wear it in a size small and then the next jumper is another one from stories which is just a plain cream jumper I wear this one all year round it's really great for the autumn winter too but I think a cream jumper is just a really good all-rounder you can wear it to the office you can wear it on its own I think for the spring season too this one is also a really nice lightweight jumper and I sized up in this to a size medium then next we have the cardigan. So I thought I'd include this one in this video because it's been my most worn one recently. I also love to style like a beige neutral cardigan in the spring and also a cream version. But I wanted to include this one because I think grey is a nice colour to transition with. So I did actually stay true to sizing this one from stories and got a size small. And they do it in other colours too. Then I have a more dressier style cardigan. So you'd have seen this already in my last spring haul video. But this one is also from Lily Silk. I just love how these cardigans cardigans look they look so Parisian so chic you can style them done up you can style them open they're great for the office you can wear them with jeans like all white trousers they just look so nice and I did actually size up in this one to a size medium I would recommend sizing up in Lily Silk Knitwear for me because I have a bigger bust I find anything with buttons just doesn't sort of like sit properly on my chest and yeah I also have this in navy too and I'm very looking forward to sewing this more when the weather warms up and then finally is a simple new jumper so this one is from Arca and I love how fluffy it is really nice jumper to transition with too and wear it on its own I particularly love this jumper I style with the satin skirts and nice socks and my Birkin socks I could totally wear this as well for cooler summer days or summer evenings it's just really nice to throw on beautiful neutral color and I got it in a size small then next I'm going to go on to my tailored pieces. So first of all is a waistcoat. These were such a big trend last year, I think the year before actually, but I absolutely love styling these, especially for the spring or summer. On the summer I wear them on their own with a nice skirt, with a nice pair of trousers, pair of jeans. Super simple, but then as well in the spring I like to wear this one underneath a black blazer, maybe style it for an evening too. I've worn this white one so many times as well. I actually wore it last year in Italy just with a satin skirt a pair of heels so I find that with these pieces I can definitely go from daytime to nighttime but if you're not a dressy girl you can totally use your wardrobe samples to create some more elevated evening outfits you can wear these with skirts with matching trousers and do a nice suit and some nice heels and you're literally good to go so this one is from River Island it's new in my wardrobe the one I have already is from H&M and it's slightly cropped but this one is more longer in the body so I wear this one in a size 8 and it's very true to size and then this one is from Marks and Spencers from last year. I do have the matching bottoms for this in the shorts. Really beautiful set. Amazing quality. I love Marks and Spencers. Definitely one of my other favourite brands for good quality pieces. You can also adjust this one at the back too. And I got it in a size 8. Then next we have the blazer. So I am such a blazer girl. I feel like my go-to outfit formula is a t-shirt, pair of trousers and a blazer. Like that is actually my comfort outfit when I don't know what to wear. I feel like everyone has their sort of like go-to like formula and mine's definitely a t-shirt, blazer and some trousers or just some jeans. Very, very simple. I'm gonna start off with a black classic blazer. This one is super old in my wardrobe now. It's from H&M. It's a wool blend, so the quality is amazing. I would recommend in investing in a blazer with a wool blend because they're just a little bit thicker, look a bit more premium. The nicer style in the evening too, I do like to wear like sleeve holders with my blazers just to keep the sleeves in place. This one is super old, but I'll link some similar ones for you. Then we have the neutral blazer. So I couldn't decide between these two. Both of them are from Naked who do really nice blazers. And I picked this one first because I found I styled it so much last year because of the tone of it. So I feel like it's a really great color to transition with into the spring season. It just goes with everything 
thin. And the next one is a more sort of like softer camel neutral blazer. So it's not like a really dark tan blazer. It's definitely more of an in-between lighter one. So if you're after a nice neutral blazer, I definitely would recommend sort of tones like this. I do have my Another Stories wool blazer, which I wear more in the autumn season. But to start transitioning and head into the springtime, I do reach for this one. I wore this one as well quite a lot with like a black dress, a bandeau dress in the summertime last year with some trainers just to sort of like transition with and it also goes really nicely with a pair of jeans too so I've got both of these in a size 36 which is my usual size in Nike blazers. Now I'm going to get on to spring jackets which of course is always my favourite one to go through. So first I'm going to start off with two simple little tweed jackets. Both of these I had in my wardrobe last year. This one is from H&M. They always bring out very very similar ones every single season and then this one is from Marks and Spencers. I've worn this a lot as well in the autumn time. I have been reaching for it for evening time and I love how this cream one looks as well with some blue jeans and some nice shoes like sandals and a basket bag for the spring. That was one of my favourite outfits from last year. Super simple, loved how it looks. And this one I actually sized up to a size 30, which I think is a size 10 in H&M, or maybe a 12, I'm not sure actually. They keep changing their sizing. And then I got this one in a size 10 too, because I prefer them to look a little bit more boxy on me, and I felt that suits my body shape more. Then next we have the bomber jacket. So these were huge last year and the year before. Everyone went crazy for the Zara ones. I actually tried on the Zara ones, but found the shoulder pads didn't sit right on me. They look sort of like too pointy, it didn't suit my body shape. But then River Island launched this one last year, which is a really, really great fit on me. I also have it in a cream sort of tweed version too. They do it in beige too. But I thought I'd choose this black one for this video because I do wear it so much transitionally. I don't tend to wear a black coat a lot in the winter. When it comes to spring styling and transitional weather, I always reach for a black blazer or this black bomber jacket. So I got this as a change from wearing my black blazer all the time basically. But yeah, I say, true to size in this and got a size 8 as it was a slightly oversized fit and fingers crossed River Island bring this back this year then like I said because we have rubbish UK weather I thought I would invest in a nice cropped jacket so I got this last year because I wear my end of the stories wrap wool coat so much in the grey I really wanted a grey sort of lighter weight boxy jacket again a change from wearing like blazers or my trench coats and this one is just so nice it's from Cars I did size up in this to a medium I wanted it to feel nice and oversized, super comfortable to wear and they also do it in navy too. Then another jacket which is a classic for spring is a denim one. So this one is from Naked. It's really oversized. I really like the fit of it. It's a really nice wash too. I am on the hunt for like a denim shirt because I'm really enjoying seeing that double denim trend for spring. But I'm just not sure if I'd wear it that much. So yeah, I do really love this denim jacket and tend to reach for this for more like casual outfits. I'll start with my white trousers, my Converse and a striped t-shirt. Just like really nice casual things to throw on. I'll also throw it on with maybe my hoodie underneath, my black leggings, my new balances. Just a sort of like run errands. It's a really great casual jacket. I also say true to size this and got a size 36 as it was an oversized fit. The next are my favourite jackets for the spring season, which is a trench coat. So when I sorted out my wardrobe and I filmed my wardrobe organising video for my TikTok and Instagram, I had so many people say, oh my God, she has so many trench coats. Why has she got so many trench coats? I love my trench coats. I love my coats, but I feel like I have different trench coats for different seasons, if that makes sense, and for different weather, for different outfits, because like I said, it's the UK and it's always really rainy and really miserable. So I feel like I do have my sort of like spring trench coat I love a white trench coat as well. So yeah, that's why I have so many trench coats. So I'm going to start off with this one. This is the short one from Arquette. I've had this now for a couple of years and I didn't realise how much I needed a short trench coat in my wardrobe till I had this Arquette one. So beautiful quality. I love Arquette for the quality of their pieces. I stay true to size in this and got a size small. They also do it in sort of like black navy version too, but I just prefer this neutral shade. Then I have these two longer style trench coat so this one is super classic and this is from naked this one is really really long though so i absolutely love this trench coat it's definitely my most worn one now because i love the cuff detail i love the structure of it i love the shoulders but if you are a shorter girl then this will be too long on you i am five foot six for height reference and this is very long sometimes i've worn this to london and the amount of times i've trodden on it trying to go up the stairs so it's one of those trench coats which i wear where i don't have to carry loads of things but i absolutely love it super classic from naked and I wear a size 36 
And then finally is this one from Dish. So as you'll notice, this is more of like a khaki olive color, very similar to the two blazers that I showed you, because I find that these tones work nicer on me and complement things in my wardrobe. So this one is from Dish, absolutely beautiful quality. I sell this one quite a lot, like in the autumn time and the winter, but I think for the spring, it's a really beautiful shade and tone. It'll look really nice to with my Birkenstocks, with a basket bag. I've styled it with some white trousers and some boots and black roll neck underneath. I could dress it down. I just think this collar is a really nice in-between collar. I think it's a bit different as well from wearing a beige trench coat all the time. Like I absolutely love my naked one and my Arquette one, but that's why I have so many different trench coats because I like to style like a lighter colour one. I have like a really nice rusty one for the autumn season because yeah, coats are like my babies. And when it comes to my trench coats, they're definitely my favourite spring staple to invest in for the spring season. So I think once you find your perfect trench coat, you're literally your last forever in your wardrobe. And then finally for colder spring days and transitional weather, I have my camel lightweight wool coat. So this is also from Naked. It's unfortunately sold out now, so I'll try and link some similar ones for you. But yeah, it's a really beautiful coat. And what I love about these style coats is that they have like no lining on. So really great to transition with. They're not too thick, they're not too heavy. I literally just wear a t-shirt underneath. I'm absolutely fine in the spring. And I really love the tone and color of it. Goes with lots in my wardrobe and it also complements my skin tone. So those are all my clothing bits. Now on to my footwear and accessories. So I usually film a separate style video when talking through capsule wardrobe, but because I've included a lot of the pieces anyway, in the cutaways I thought it'd be easier just to include it all in one video. So first of all, I'm gonna start off with my trainers. So as you may know, if you follow me already, I have a problem for Adidas Sambas and Adidas trainers in general. They need to stop bringing out so many different colorways because I'm buying every single pair because I have such a neutral minimal wardrobe these just slot in so nice so these are my newest pair of sambas they are the new colorway and so with that camel coat my blazers trays they just go with so much in my wardrobe and i love the darker brown sole too i like to tie this in then with my brown handbag just to tie the outfit together and they're super comfortable to wear and we have the classic original pair of sambas so these are literally my most worn trainers the trainers i used to wear before these was my vasia campo trainers I I haven't worn them for about a year now because I wear these ones so much. I'm also very much a Converse girl in the more of the autumn winter season because I find Converse a lot more practical to wear in rainy day weather. Whenever I go to London, it's raining. They are my go-to trainers for rainy wet days. So I think for a capsule wardrobe, a good pair of white trainers are perfect. Samba's a really great option. I also have a new pair of trainers which I thought I'd include in this video because I felt they're a really good staple neutral trainer i finally got my hands on these specials i haven't sold them yet um but they're absolutely beautiful and i think for spring a neutral trainer is just yeah a go-to a bit of a change from wearing a white one all the time so i'll definitely be flipping between my sambas and these ones this year but these are currently sold out super hard to get i'll try and link as many ones for you as i can then next is a pair of black boots. So these are from Charles and Keith and they're really great for transitional weather. They're also super comfortable to wear. You can sell them for the office, you can wear them for the evening time. I think when we do have those rainy days and if you don't wanna wear your trainers, you can still grab your boots and add them into your outfits. I know sometimes it's really like, I'm so excited to wear all my summer shoes now, all my sandals. I had a pedicure done the other day, but I feel like we just don't get the weather in the UK. So I feel like I don't ever put my boots fully away. Then next are a pair of ballet flats. These are my most worn pairs. These ones are from Marks and Spencer. You've seen them so many times on my channel. Super comfortable. I really love the two-tone of the neutral and the black. And I also have been wearing a black pair a lot too. I do want to have a look at maybe some new sort of like Mary Jane sole ballet flats because I wear these ones all the time. I want to try and find a more of a strappier version, like the ones with, I think they're called Mary Janes actually, where they have the strap over just to add some more interest to my outfits. I also really love the Mary style ones and the diamante ones but i keep holding off buying them because i'm not sure if they're more of a trend and if i'll wear them that much because i do tend to reach for these ones the most but i am going to look for some black simple mary jane's just to sort of like upgrade these a little bit then i have my tan sandals so i also have these in black too i was going to include more sandals in this video but i feel like that'll be more for like my summer capsule wardrobe style video so these ones are the ones i wear the most transitionally they're from june beautiful quality they're so 
comfortable. I have them in black. I also have them in the woven version, the rattan one, which are really good for holidays. But yeah, these are just so comfortable to wear. They're from June, they come back every single year. And these really pull my outfits together when I wear tan accessories, whether it's a tan belt or a tan bag. These just complete the outfit. They look so nice style with wide leg trousers too. Then next I have my Birkenstock Boston. So these are my favorite to style transitionally. They're so comfortable to wear. They look so cool. They go with so many of my outerwear, especially like my trench coats and whatnot. And yeah, I finally got my hands on these early last year. I literally didn't start wearing them last spring. So I did say true to size in these and got a size six. I will link some of these for you because I feel like as soon as like summer hits these, just go. And they look really nice with some jeans, some socks. They're also different from wearing my trainers. So I do like to reach and slip these ones on. And then when the summer does hit and warmer days approach, I leave in Birkenstock Boston sandals all the time. They're literally my go-to and the most comfortable sandals you'll ever own. Then next we have my belt so I wear this one all the time it's my classic YSL monogram belt I absolutely love it I think this is around three or four years old now I just absolutely yeah it's my favorite style belt I tend to style this more like casually or potentially over blazers it looks really nice like wearing like a cinched in blazer having this over the top but it's more of like a thicker style one so this is the three centimeter width and then the other two belts which I've been styling a lot recently are these two so these are both from Amazon they're such a good dupe as well really amazing quality and these are more of a slimmer style belt so perfect to wear with like wide leg trousers just like really really simple and really elegant but I ended up getting the black version and the brown I also got the beige version too but I thought I'd just include these two colors in this video because they're literally my most warm ones now let's get on to my spring handbag. So I could include so many in this video, but I'm gonna include my most worn and favorite ones. So first of all, of course, is my beautiful Loewe basket bag. She is just an absolute beauty. I love her so much. And it's literally my most worn bag in the spring, summer time. Like as soon as I can wear this bag, it's my everyday bag. So I ended up getting it in the white version. This is the medium size. I do want a new Loewe bag this year. I want the square style one I'll pop a little picture on the square style with the tan handle and the tan face because I wanted it so bad last year and I spotted it in Ibiza when I was away and I didn't end up getting it and I instantly regretted it so yeah I'm hoping to get my hands on that this year but yeah she's absolutely perfect I love her style with my trench coats my blazers it's a really great city bag too just make sure that you put an insert on the inside I do have these little basket bag inserts just off Etsy for like tote bags like this which are amazing so they keep your valuables more safe but i tend to wear this bag a lot on my shoulders and sort of under my arm anyway so i'm sort of like always holding it like this but yeah it's definitely my favorite bag to sell in the spring summer season the next is a tan bag so this is new in my wardrobe it's from demelier and i absolutely love her this is the midi new york bag in the tan the grain leather is just absolutely stunning they do do this bag in like a canvas style which is just so nice for the summer time it comes as a canvas with a black stripe so i'm like oh i would love that for the summer season but i also would love this bag in like a cream off-white too because yeah i do have a new cream bag on the way actually from a brand called song mont i think it's pronounced so i would have included that in this video and a cream bag that's in a leather like this also works great for the spring summer and then finally is a black crossbody bag so this is the vancouver bag by tomelier my most worn bag all year round you'll still see me sign this in the spring season i just love how versatile it is amazing quality i love the gold hardware too and they also do this in lots of different colors so you can style it sort of on the shoulder you can wear it as a crossbody and yeah it's just a really beautiful classic timeless bag and then to finish off we have sunglasses so the first pair which i'm going to show you which i wear all the time i'm sure you're going to guess which ones they are these are my ysl black sunnies i absolutely love them they are the cat eye sunglasses they literally look so cool on they just suit my face frame so well really good quality i love the gold hardware on i also love styling them with my matching ysl bag and then another pair of sunglasses which i wear a lot in the spring summer season are these ones from celine so these are my celine triumph sunglasses in the tortoiseshell absolutely stunning i love the gold hardware on these and i do like to wear these a lot more in the spring because um, I just feel like they look a bit more sort of softer than my black ones and yeah the shape is so cool I also would really love them in black and I do currently have my eye on the Celine 
Triumph sunglasses in the metal because I feel like I need a new pair of metal sunglasses. I have my Ray-Bans from ages ago. They're the circle ones. They don't really suit me. I feel like they always move around on my nose too much, which annoys me. So I do have my eye on a pair of those for the summertime. But yeah, these are my most worn sunnies. When it comes to investing in luxury, I tend to really do it for belts and sunglasses. I don't sort of, unless it's Louis Vuitton and their basket bags, I'll spend money there. But I'm not the sort of person to invest loads of money in design of handbags i so much more prefer like premium high street like demelier cafoon songmon poli i just literally love those brands and they look so expensive but without the actual branding on they're literally the same quality but yeah i would definitely recommend looking into those premium bag brands rather than investing in design ones because yeah i feel like you get so much more for your money and they do them in so many different colors too you can literally probably have like four or five of their bags for the price of one i don't know why i sell a bag i'm just really not into i just thought about the old that I'm getting I'm really not interested in like labeled bags it just doesn't interest me apart from the web that is the only one okay I lied I can't believe I nearly forgot her to put in this video I was like I'm missing one bag here what bag is it and it's my Chloe woody tote like she is a beauty I absolutely love this style bag and I wear it so much in the spring I just realized that it was still in my storage and yeah this is definitely another bag which I wear a lot in the spring summertime Again, it's a classic canvas tote bag. You just have to be careful with it marking. Sometimes I have had little dirt marks on them. I've ended up just sort of like lifting it off with a bit of fairy liquid. I feel like fairy liquid is so good just for getting like satins out of a bag. Just a tiny little bit in some warm water. Don't sort of like rub it in, just sort of lift it off and it just gets every little mark out. But yeah, this is my Chloe medium tote bag i absolutely love her i wear it so much in the spring season i love to match my tan accessories with the brown detail on here they do do it in a sort of like with i think it's more of like a black like navy khaki detail one but i went for the tan because i wear tan so much more i tie it in with my glasses my belts and my shoes and yeah this colorway was definitely the perfect one for me so that is my spring capsule wardrobe and my most worn pieces for the spring season i hope you guys have enjoyed watching this today and you found it helpful it's given you some ideas as well on what to invest in and what to buy if you are building a capsule wardrobe so yeah if you have enjoyed watching then please don't forget to like this video if you like these style videos then please don't forget to subscribe as well so yeah as always thanks so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video